Okay, so in the previous video we've looked at uh, AWS, so let's go back here. We've looked at IIM um, enumeration, so this was a challenge when it comes to AWS cloud security. Now in this one, I don't want to go into IIM cross account enumeration because it's probably very similar to IIM enumeration, which is why I'm going to go into misconfigured trust policy. And as you can see, tried three times. So this is actually something that uh, can get your head wrapped around it because it's not actually really easy since the AWS ecosystem is extremely complex there's a lot of stuff that you can do and there's a lot of stuff that can go wrong. All right, so if we go back to this uh, misconfigured trust policy, I also have the walkthrough here because I don't wanna uh, actually um, I don't want to uh, waste a lot of time by actually trial and error. I just uh, want to do a brief video in which uh, all of us have to learn from so i've started the lab at least that's what i thought let's see yes so it's already started it's ongoing and what we have to do is that we have to assume the role of add logging role on the aws account 276 so once you start this you click on the lab link and in this case it's going to give you some credentials and you're going to actually have to configure these credentials using your command line interface so uh, that's what I actually did here with the AWS configure. So you have to install the AWS CLI if you don't have it installed to actually interact with the Amazon Web Services and the root account. And then I've configured these uh, as specified um, as specified over here with these credentials, the key ID and the secret access key. And then what we need to do is to actually, like I said, assume the role, uh, this role on this account and list the S3 buckets. And the documentation for role assumption is on, if I click on refresh here, this is the documentation. So it's on uh, the docs at ws.com. What we need to do once we have that is to actually run a very lengthy command. So AWS STS, assume role, and then role ARN. This is the account number that we wanna assume the role for, and this is the type of role that we wanna assume. So we copy this blob here, and then actually run it. So AWS, uh, there was, Role session name. So, Jesus. Add logging role, and then we also need. We only need this but it doesn't seem to work so let's see what's wrong here So STS assume role role ARN role session name role add logging role. This was the entire command. Is it that our credentials 
are not good that's interesting so it doesn't seem to work in here but if I open up a new window it seems to work and we get um, the uh, the credentials for this role for the add logging role and then we have to export these as um, environmental variables so we have to export AWS access key ID like this and then access key ID like that then we have to export the secret access key like that secret access key and then finally we have to export session token so export AWS session token and this entire blob like that and then we actually have to uh, check the color identity using the STS get color identity let's see if this works yes so user ID add logging account the account and then the role what we have to do then is to get attached policy so we have to look at the attached policy so assume the role on the s3 and list the s3 buckets so this is not actually get attached policies for role we might not even have to do that but uh, anyways let's actually do it for the sake of uh, exemplification so going back here AWS IAM list attached role policies role name so what we're actually doing again for better visualization we're using the IAS IAM in this case identity and access management list attached role policies and then we have the role name this role add logging role and then let's run this we have s3 read only access so uh, read the s3 buckets and i am read only access now if we want to use this one which is exactly what we sh need to do we need to assume the role and list the s3 buckets so to do that the role has read access on the s3 and i am service of the account which is exactly uh what's here so i am read only access it has read only access to the identity and access management and also read only access to the s3 so the s3 buckets now in this case if we want to interact with the s3 we should simply just aws s3 ls and in this case it actually works so we're listing the buckets for that specific role and it might be a bit confusing but in a nutshell successfully assumed the role on another account and access s3 buckets so you have more reference on the AWS command line interface documentation and also assume role so this is really important not only for offensive uh, teamers but also for blue teamers in terms of actually securing AWS accounts via the command line interface